Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video. I am outside, so if the wind or any other noise that you hear is going on, that's why. But you can't beat 60 degree weather in December. This is my first video on my horse channel, and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about my horse journey of looking for a horse to buy. I've always wanted a horse since I was little and I would always beg my family to buy a horse for me and that just never worked. Um, when I got a job, I think I was 17, but when I got a job I was started saving money for a horse and a bunch of people would always say, oh you know, buying a horse is so unrealistic, you're never going to buy a horse, you're not going to get a horse and things like that and they would laugh at me when I say, oh no I still haven't bought my horse yet. I fell in love with off the track thoroughbreds because when I was taking lessons I've ridden three off the track thoroughbreds. Um, one of them was older and had more experience but then the other two that I rode were much younger between five and like eight. The five year old off the track thoroughbred didn't have much experience but I loved him and he was just so sweet and he had the best personality even though he was like skittish and scared of certain things like he was scared of a lead rope um like if it was just to swing or somebody was just to raise their arm like he would just freak out about that but he got much better with that in time because my instructor let me work with him passing by on from that i made youtube videos on my other channel about you know experiences of trying to find or an adopt a horse. I was riding horses for about eight and a half years, or nine, like eight and a half, nine years. Like, oh my God, I wanna buy a horse. But my great grandmother was kind enough to buy lessons for me and my sister. And I continued on with the horse riding from like the first, from like day one, I would ride once a week. And then in the summer, I would do summer camp, but summer camp only lasted until you were 15 or 16 years old. So when I was 15 or 16 years old, that was my last summer camp lesson with my group. And I did that for two years because I was already getting up an age where I could no longer participate in the summer camp. And when my instructor left for college, that's when I basically stopped writing because after that the, un the other instructors just never got back to me. And my group who tried to get back into horse riding, the people never called us back and we don't know why. So I stopped riding horses. But I was looking back through my photos and I remember making the call at work. I know. I went upstairs to go make this phone call to call about a horse. And I have been looking for an off the track thoroughbred for about two years now and I could never ever find one or it's just that I never thought that I could afford to have a horse because of all of this things where you're saying only rich people could buy horses and that's not true. By no means am I rich or have a lot of money at all. So one day I stumbled upon the Foxy G Foundation. I don't know if it's gonna show up but it's on my phone here. And I'm just like, oh hey, you know, I've never seen these guys before, let me check them out. So long story short, it took me about like a month or two to contact the lady because I was looking at a horse but unfortunately he was a really bad cribber and I really 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 wanted to purchase him but he was a bad cribber like he broke fences and round pins and things like that so certain places don't have crib proof fences and stalls so I didn't want to have to pay for damages. One june 24th is when i first rode one horse and this is the horse that i ended up going with um her name was hideaway and like my grandmother took this picture um of me and hideaway and then one of the owners of the foxy g foundation i went to look at bar uh, boarding facilities beforehand but i only really looked at one um and that was like a big mistake because they were 30 minutes away from me and I eventually moved my horse and we're no longer at that barn. I ended up getting a call back on July 
I don't know, I can't remember what day in July, but it was like the end of June, the beginning of July, I got a phone call. Thank God I was off of work because she called my house phone. And I talked to her and she was just like, if you're still interested in Hideaway, you know, she's yours. And I'm just like, oh my God, the first horse that I ever went to go try out and look at, they're saying that this horse is gonna be mine. And yes, I did ride her once when I was there. Um, I went to go see her twice including the time I went out to go ride her. I rode her, she was the sweetest horse. Um, she is scared of fly spray, she is dancey and things that I have to work with her. But I loved her and I ended up getting her. It was awesome because when I rode her, she was like the perfect horse that I was looking for. Like she's not too fast, she has this perfect trot that when you sit her trot, it's not like you're gonna bounce all over the place. She canters on her opposite lead that she would be running on the track which is the left but she picks up her right lead better than her left so I think that's completely funny she was born in Pennsylvania she was born April 27th and she's five years old so she was born in 2013 um, I actually do have her tattoo number and her records Fun fact, she was actually born the same month and day as my mom. How, what a coincidence. Like, I didn't know that until I got her papers and looked at her birthday. Even though Thoroughbred's birthday is technically the 1st of January, I think. I physically paid for her on the 14th, and that's when I went out to go groom her and walk her around. And I couldn't ride because another person was looking for a horse for their child. But long story short, I ended up purchasing her that day but I couldn't bring her home for like another two weeks because the lady at the barn that I was boarding at got sick and when she got better she never contacted me that she was better to come pick up my horse so the people at the Foxy G Foundation the riders continued to ride my horse three times a week for me so she could you know continue learning and all this other stuff so 11 or 12 days until August was coming so whenever that timeline is um, the lady from the Foxy G Foundation has people who can transport horses so I ended up paying $50 to transport my horse from point A to point B and I got my horse and at that time that's when I went to go see my horse for the first time and of course she was like acting crazy and not like her normal self which is you gotta expect that when your horse is in a new place they're gonna act different and I'm sorry it's cold even though it feels good but it's cold I think the entire time she was at that place I probably only saw her about 20 times um, only because because this place did not have an indoor arena and my horse was out 24 7 like she was outside all day never got brought in never in a stall she's in a stall now and I know like I was against stalls still kind of don't want my horse in a stall but there's a reason why my horse is in a stall and it's because I had the last basically I had the last straw with the boarding facility that I was at and the other place that offers fill board did not contact me until I moved my horse three days later like they contacted me three days later I wanted a horse between the ages of five and 16 years old and most of the horses I was looking at were either 18 and older yeah I ended up going with a five-year-old thoroughbred mare and that this whole journey has been very interesting I am putting her in training because I am going back to work soon and I'm not gonna be able to like ride her all the time they're gonna ride her like four times a week or would have put her in four times a week training that means that I'm also paying for lessons included in that so I can get like two of my own private lessons and then the rest are like professional rides like pro rides or if I'm not there they're just gonna ride my horse for me like today would be the perfect day to ride but still I want to make sure that she's okay and has like a good head on her shoulders before I do ride her because she's in a new place. She's been there for almost, basically tomorrow will be three weeks that she's been at this new barn. And I wanted to focus on groundwork with her. So I'll just get into a little bit about why I moved barns. 
but the very last straw for me was when I bought a blanket for my horse the day that it started raining I went out and my horse was just shivering she was cold there was no body heat you could touch her and she just wasn't heated like she was shaking like she was having a seizure not making a joke about seizures but she was shaking so bad like she was having a seizure like suffering from hypothermia so I took a bunch of microfiber towels to dry her off put her blanket on and started walking her around and then she started picking up some body heat and the last time I went out to go get her she ripped well I think she got Oh, a horse ripped her blanket but she was still warm her hair is fluffy but she's not fluffy enough to where she can't where she can go outside in the cold without a blanket so she was perfect the last time I went out to catch her so that's basically going to be the end of this video I was kind of all over the place but I wanted you guys to kind of get to know who I was and I will be posting other videos a barn tour even though there are three barns at my barn and I'm at, like seriously, there's three barns at my barn. So I'm only going to be doing a barn tour of my barn. Prob probably, prob probably, instead of all three because my horse is at one and I just want to respect other people's personal items. But I'll be doing a barn tour and a locker tour. Probably a locker tour when it gets warmer because uh, I don't like, <laughs> I have to clean up my locker because my, my locker is kind of dirty because this person that I got the locker from didn't clean it out but yeah so again thank you so much for watching this video subscribe down below also like this video if you enjoyed it follow me on Instagram my horsey Instagram account but I thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time bye